All right, we're back. I'm just gonna jump right into it and we're gonna start battling some trainers. Doing, doing great here. So in the previous episode, we got another encounter. We versed our rival, so we're doing really great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move forward. Take on this trainer. We have the perfect lead for that. North Carolina's gonna do some damage here. Wow, just wiping the floor. Nice. Cleaning it up with this magic carp. Fish scales and all. Nice, all right. Nice, Texas got a level, Vermont got a level as well. That's the nice thing about the experience showers. Pokemon, there we go, learning extra moves. So that might come in handy if I decide to do a little extra training. Ooh, no, Starly, I'm not gonna, not gonna take a Starly on. Let's jump to New Mexico here. We got the electric move. I'm really loving the um, intuitive play style of this Brilliant Diamond. Really enjoying this, really enjoying this a lot. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Doing well, doing well. All right, New Mexico hits 11 as well. Very nice, sweet. So we'll get through that. Should be good to go here. We're just cleaning up Route uh, 204, and then we will uh, heal up and probably jump over to the next route and get another encounter. Which I guess I should have done first, because then I could have something getting experience besides Magic Carp. But I like Magic Carp. I mean, Gyarados is good. See, I've I've played at least two Nuzlocks with Gyarados. They wreck house. You can you can set up with them. You can do a lot of really cool things. It's gotten to the point that I, I don't even really like using Magikarps and Gyaradoses in a Nuzlocke because it just feels like a cliche overused Pokemon. But we'll see what happens. I mean, if I get a bunch of deaths and I have to roll in a Gyarados, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I kind of leave that up to the game or in my luck to see if I end up having to use it. Tackling me here. Nice. There's the quick call that I did get. And activates and I get the kill. Nice. I believe this should get uh, North Carolina to level 11. I'm pretty sure. Might be close. There it is. Level 11. Nice. Cool. And I've beaten everyone I can in this route so far. Go ahead, run back, get some Pokemon Center stuff. Been really able to focus on getting through. It's nice to see extra different, like, I always, um, I was somebody who liked having the different ball types whenever she's healing us. Okay, I know there are other options for Pokemon I can catch on this next route. Um, but there might be a, quite a few dupes. So, be prepared for that. Let's see. Yep, there's one of my first dupes. I think the main thing I could get is either a bit of... And then, since it's nighttime, I think... Krikatot should be out. For some reason, I'm not 100% sure of that, but we'll see what happens. Oh, an Abra. Great. Okay, so my encounter is an Abra. Um, not great. Um, I think I just, I just go for it. It's going to teleport otherwise. One, two... Damn, I didn't think I had that chance. Okay, so we lose our encounter for 205. Bummer. I did not remember there being Abra, but there's also no way around that, so. Unless I had a Great Ball, but 
I don't know that I would have had that encounter. Is this a gap? No, okay. Um, who do I have out front? Let's see, Pokemon. Got Vermont. Uh, pretty much everyone's ready to rock and roll. We haven't seen Texas much. Uh, yeah, actually, yes. Uh, not this episode. We haven't. Let's roll Texas out in front and take this kid on. Okay, he's got two people. Let's see what he can do. If I can get through this area too, there should be an encounter at the end. So maybe we'll get another, another Pokemon. Possible. All right, let's, uh, let's do wing attack. I was tempted to work up there, but I think considering I'm such a high level, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, let's see. Let's do quick attack. Considering there's an experience here that I can't turn off in, the, in this game, if I get a bunch of people starting to hit 14, I might have to switch them out with somebody in a box or just start boxing them. Because there's certain Pokemon like um, North Carolina, my Badu. If that thing gets above 14, I can't use it. How am I beating the gym? Or at least it's going to become a lot harder. I get a bunch of deaths. i got to save the Pokemon that I know I'm going to use. And also, if I can avoid it, why would I even bring Texas into a rock gym? Because like even a, even a quick attack... Um, isn't worth it because it's resistant to the rock types. All right, Mississippi gets eight. Cool, got through this kid. Thanks for the money, pal. Okay, you gonna battle me? Did you know? First... Okay, yeah, yeah, I know that. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the assist there, buddy. I think I can jump ahead and oh, there's a person. I was gonna say maybe I can jump ahead and get that encounter without battling this kid, but, oh, well, three, okay, now, depending on what she starts with, I might go, yeah, I might go ahead and set up to get Texas, um, in a position to sweep, so maybe two workups, we'll have to see what he goes for, uh, or what she goes for, let's see, so I'm gonna work up, I'm going to work up again, because that didn't do nearly enough damage to me. Hopefully it doesn't growl me, because that's, like, my least. Attack, Rose, and special type of... Okay. Damn it. Okay, okay. Too bad I don't have both special attack and physical attack, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and wing attack. Gone. Okay. Good job, Texas. Sends out Starly. You also might have Growl, so I'm just going to jump right into getting Quick Attack off. Nice. Now we're starting to body some stuff. Okay. And then a Badu. Awesome. So yeah. Our buddy Texas, the Starly here, it might be huge to have this work up and be a, basically one of our early game setup mod. All I have to do is bring it out on something that's not going to do a bunch to me. Get one or two workups up and then just start just bodying Pokemon. She seems pretty upset. Okay. Can I get to the next area and get my encounter? Whoa, that guy turned real quick. I almost didn't make it. Okay. I think we can get the encounter. I don't want to battle this dude. I don't know if this bat this dude battles me, but I don't want to take that chance. Ah, uh, nope. Dang it. I wish I had sweet scent. That'd be nice. I need Buddy to learn that. Dang it. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me my encounter. What is it? All right, Geo dude, it's fine. Um, but let me get this Pokemon out of here. Okay. Um, what can take hits and, and um, 
not die. I guess I'll go to New Mexico because you shouldn't have a ground move. I don't think you're given mud slap or anything to start. And you have to be a higher level to get magnitude. So I think all you have is rock through. Oh, we have sandstorm. That's kind of annoying. Um, I di I'd definitely take a Geodude over a Magikarp. Okay, I can't use Thundershock. Go after using Attack. Oh, that'll be good. I'll get one or two more of those, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, having a Geodude might be nice, because if I do get it to the point of getting Magnitude, um, plus it can be not effective against some of the attacks that they might use. I'm not enjoying that you're tackling me back, buddy. And my sand and the sandstorm hits me. Let me get one more tackle off. If I can at least get to yellow and see if that'll help us out. There it is. Okay, so we got yellow. It's using defense curl because it's not enjoying the tackles. I like that it has sandstorm. That might be fun. Alright, let's use a Pokeball. I already have the name figured out if we're able to catch it. Two, three, there we go, got it, awesome. Give it some stuff for that, so the nickname is going to be Colorado, because obviously rock Pokemon, picking a state, Colorado makes a lot of sense. I almost forgot how to spell friggin' state. Colorado. Okay, I'm gonna add, oh, good, you can add it straight to the party. Um, okay, Mississippi's gonna drop out, and we're gonna put in Colorado for the Geodude. Sweet. So that gives us another Mon. Let me see, who's in the lead again? All right, Texas, who's been already crushing it. Um, we're gonna swap to um, let's toss Hawaii back in there and see if this kid's going to fight us. Yeah, so he's going to battle us. Let's take him on. Got a Machop. Okay, I kind of wish I'd left Texas out. But uh, Hawaii should be up to the task. Let's go with an Ember. I guess I could... Well, I could teach work up to um, Hawaii as well. The problem being, I'm going to have a special attack on Ember. I'm not going to try to use... Oh, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll think about it. Because it's better than Leer. Nice. Colorado and Vermont both got a level on that. That's huge. Rock Polish, also helpful. That's cool. And Vermont got that 7... Nice. Okay, so we beat that kid. And let's see if Hawaii can take out this girl over here too real quick. And then that'll get us through the next chunk. Yeah, we're moving along pretty quick and we got a nice team. We already have more than a full team. And I think we'll have two, maybe two more encounters. Um, before the next gym. So we, we, got, we got chances here. Um, another thing to cover in the Nuzlocke is, um, I only do one encounter per area, so statics are factored in, and I will sometimes roll. So if a place has, let's say, to give me an egg, I can get a static Eevee, or I can fish in a town, I can only get one of those options. So I'll do a number roll to see which of those encounters I get. I'm only allowed one. So it might be like, oh, you can only take the egg, or oh, you can only get the Eevee, and that would be my choice. I do not pick that. Randomly number generated. Cool. Hawaii and Texas both get to 12. Doing well, and that's going to be it. Uh, ooh, power-up punch. Nice. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, and see ya.